G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, one thing I didn't tell you is I threw a batch of flower horn fry in this RBC and I've actually changed my mind. The bigger, the bigger flower horns I want to put in that IBC because it's got the bucket filter with the one mil holes. This one has sponge filters for now. So I want to put the smaller fry, I'm talking real small, like less than one centimetre are going in this IBC with the sponge filters. Now I think I've got them all, but I've got a feeling there's one more, because I counted three and I've only moved two. Um, obviously it would be detrimental if I miss one because they're big enough to eat the other ones. Um, now that I've actually had to think about it, it would have been quicker to swap the filters over and leave the fish in there. But I don't know, up there for learning. Alright, so I've got a I've got an idea for um, Perth Cichlids, Jason. He was complaining to me about the fish getting in the um, tap hole for the RBC. So one of these braces off the top, I actually just bent it like this and it and you can push it in the hole and all the fry come out. So that's a tip for him and anybody else. Anyway, I'll leave you guys, I'll leave, leave me with it. I'll see if I can find this one more. I'm just gonna get a bit of a bucket going. I'm not gonna move all of these over. I'm only gonna move maybe half or maybe more than half. We'll just leave some in there. Um, I'm still a little bit hesitant to put them in the IBC at that size, but I'm sure they'll be fine. They'll just graze. I'll probably like, maybe even drop like, big pellets of food, like 11 millimeter pellets every, every now and then for them to graze on. I think that would be a good idea. I'm not really sure. Drop a comment below if you've um, fed fry big pellets before. I've never done it, but might be a good idea. I've been thinking about doing it for a while now. Uh, I've changed my mind guys. They're all going in there. Let's keep going. Um, so, I've got the other batch which is only like eight fish, which is like about three centimeters now. So, that's my batch for me to pick out my selective breeding. And then, so this is batch two. So this whole batch can go in here. And then, fingers crossed, um, I've got a different girl with Charles today, or not today, for the last week. and. They're cleaning the plate together now, so we could have three Charles batches. So I'm not that worried about throwing all these in. Oh, and also, I gave like a hundred fry to my friend Brett to grow out for me. So we've got plenty of Charles fry around, so it's not risky throwing the whole batch in there. Alright, so this is the last bucket. I think there's about 200 there. I'd guess. I gave Brett like a hundred and then I got quite a lot of casualties when they were regulars. I think it was because there was literally like a thousand in a 50 litre tub. I think it was just too much for the tub so I'm not upset about it. 300 is still a crazy amount. So we'll see how they go in there. I'm just going to keep an eye out for a few minutes to make sure there's none of the bigger ones in there. I'm really paranoid. But it should be right. Uh, the two IBCs are sitting on like 28 degrees. They've only got little heaters in them, um, but we've had warm enough weather to heat them up. All right, so you guys, I'll take you guys for an underwater look at the fish. Um, I don't know how well it will show up on the camera, but we've got an underwater camera. Let's play with it. So now we're going to go to um, Kraken um, Bird Rehabilitation Park. It's where they rehabilita rehabilitate um, red tail and white tail black cockatoos. Um, it's like an open day fundraiser, so our ticket money goes towards the rehabilitation of the birds. Um, I'm not sure if I can film there or not, but I'm pretty sure I can. Maybe I'll, I think I'll just make up a little montage because. 
I think it's like a big group of people, so I don't want to be talking over the video. So if there is a montage, I'll drop it here. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm actually pretty shattered. It was really hot out there. I don't know if you can see it, I got a bit burnt on my face. It was a dumb idea not taking a hat. But it was really cool. Like, um, the, the place was really nostalgic. It was actually an old zoo from like the 90s. And basically the, the zoo got shut down and the, the, the all the rehabilitation centers, there's like, three different um, centers in the one on the one property they all actually took in all the leftover I say leftover that's a horrible word word they took in all the old animals that um, the zoo owners just left on the property so it was really different to like going to the zoo um, the birds definitely seemed like it was a place for the birds, not for not a place for the people viewing. If you'll notice, like some sh it, some spots were really hard to get any video footage because the place isn't actually designed for the public. It's a private place that was open that had an open day to raise money. So they've got a Facebook page, um, Karakan uh, Bird Rehabilitation or something. Um, go support them if you can. Uh, it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.